What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the Tipville Guyen Player of the Year Squad Building Challenge, which is going to be Jensen. It is just this card, you don't get any other packs, and there are a lot of constraints. So it's taken me a lot longer than usual, but I've tried to do this in the cheapest possible way and the best formula as well. So this literally, uh, some of these are in my club, of course, but I'll show you the prices of those. But literally I've gone out and bought them and this has cost me under 20,000. You do not want to be spending more than that. And unfortunately, because you need a team of the week and even the bronze and silvers are kind of getting price fixed for a minimum of 10K, you are going to have to spend that if you want this card. There is no physical way to get it cheaper than that team of the week that you do need. So you need five typical GM players minimum, three da uh, Danish players minimum, and you need a team of the week player. And the thing that caught me off guard originally, only three nationalities. So originally I got this Grimaldo in form for 12,500. Realized there's not a Portuguese Benfica player, so he doesn't get perfect chemistry. Now, I believe if you do follow this exactly, you will get the 95 chemistry. Um, I'm just going to tot it up here. I'm going to minus every um, shield that I, I've got. It, it's basically the loyalty, which I'm sure everyone knows what that is by now. Uh, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven green shields are there. Um, but I think I'm over 100 chemistry anyway. So I'm just going to count the chemistry quickly. So the back line gives me 40. That's 49, 57, uh, 67, 77. Then we've got another 27. So we're on 104. So yeah, minus the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shields. This, if you were to follow it directly, would give you 97 chemistry. Uh, and that's even with this guy who's a cam. And uh, yeah, he was pack pulled, so I've just decided to use him. But uh, yeah, if you were to use him as a centre mid, uh, convert him, then he'd get the bonus chemistry as well. And this guy's a centre mid, so if he did the same thing, he'd get an extra chemistry point. But if you were to follow this, literally as I've done it, you will get the 95 chemistry. So there's no point going through the loyalty glitch. But anyway, uh, we've got Morch here, uh, the goalkeeper. I'm just going to show you the players that I have uh, in my club. Just to show that you can get them for under a thousand late there you go 600 late originally people were snapping them up but because there's so many it, 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 you can't physically price fix all these bronze players because they're getting so heavily packed and uh, not enough people are actually going out to buy them 700 coins there um so yeah i believe all the typical game players who i've got right at the back of this team all of them combined you can get for around about just under three thousand I mean, if you wait, like, you can probably get them for even less, right? There was one for a thousand there. Uh, come on, there's got to be one for cheaper than that. They, 900, yeah. I mean, I saw one for 700 before. 600, there you go. Easy. Like, you can probably get it for a lot cheaper than uh, 3k. Then we've got this silver guy, and something's just sold for me. But um, I think that's Muller's Scream God, actually, that's sold. But aside from that, this silver guy, even he's not that much. About 1,200, we can see there. 950, so yeah. They're definitely all under uh, 1,000 coins. I've bought this guy right now for 900, and uh, yeah, so I know you could get him, but if you were to follow this exactly, the one thing I would change is this Akuna uh, inform, because if a lot of people go out and buy this guy, he will increase in price, because there isn't too much of him. So try and get a left mid or a left back who's in form, and then have the exact same club and nation with him. So because he was from the Argentinian league, a new racing club would have an abundance of left backs that were Argentina, and I believe they have three. So that will give the perfect chemistry to them. Um, but as you can see, this guy, I bought him for 14k. He seems to be slightly more now. Uh, 17k, so yeah, maybe like try and change the inform that you do get. But uh, the rest of the players, the Danish players, I uh, bought a lot of them, 550 as you can see there. Uh, he was pack pulled, so I'm just going to... Um, Double check what his price is. 200 coins. There you go. Like the, the da Danish players are pretty cheap, but uh, I'll quickly go through a formula just in case. Like these players, for some reason, are getting price fixed. I assure you, it's not me doing it. If they are, but um, I highly doubt it because there's just so many bronze players. It, it's near on impossible to do any sort of price fixing. There you go. 200 coins for him. So the the Danish players will literally cost you if you. Uh, not an idiot and go out and rush and buy this guy like me 800 coins like so this should theoretically cost you no more than 20,000 so what I've done the typical game players I've got the, obviously goalkeeper two center backs the right back and the CDM because they'll all get full chemistry Bob the um, 
the loyalty. Obviously, uh, if they're in your club, you'll get the bonus chemistry, but it shouldn't matter anyway. Uh, and then the Danish players, I've got a perfect link in the midfield, so these are from the same club. And the reason for that is because they have three dead links, or this guy does. So if you were to use a different Danish player from the same league, then he wouldn't get full chem. I think he'd only get six. So because they're from the same club, gives him a little bit more boost. And we've got the right mid who's Danish. And then same club, same nation, down the left-hand side. One of them has to be a Team of the Week player, though. So that was a mouthful, but hopefully you do understand. And we're just going to submit that, and we get this um, card, which does look fantastic, to be honest. He's just going to be hard to put into a team purely because I don't really use the Norwegian league very much but uh, it looks a very very solid card he's a bit small for a centre mid but I'm sure I could deal with that high high work rates and all-rounded stats so hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace